Hey, it's Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. Welcome back to the channel. Automotive dreams in scale, and what's coming up next is one of my biggest automotive dreams, the, the Porsche 911, uh, and the one from the 80s way back when is, is always my favorite. I love the body lines. Stick around after the slideshow, right around the minute and a half mark. I'll be announcing my next project, the Revell 1968 Dodge Dart that I'm building with the 426 Hemi is a drag car. So stick around for that. The car that you're seeing in the slideshow presently is the Revell Porsche 911 Carrera 3.2 Targa G model. This is one of the ones that was the new tooling. Uh, it comes with a tremendous amount of decals for the seats, the speakers, even certain hose lines and exhaust lines have a, a decal that goes on them to to show a line or something and uh, and it looks fantastic it really looks the part the kit goes together very well the parts are fantastically molded uh, and i really enjoyed putting it together so i hope you enjoy the slideshow Okay, so on Angelo's workbench next is this, the 68 Dodge Dart Hemi 2-in-1. I'm opting to build the drag version, uh, pretty much looking similar to the box art, but a different color. This, this decal is red with gold, and I think painting the car red with gold, painting the car red and then putting a red decal on it doesn't make much sense to me, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it uh, blue, I think, a, a nice metallic blue, or maybe a uh, or maybe a, a silver, to to pull out the the red, make the red show a little more. And as you can see, I have been in this kit already. I have um, desprued the parts. Uh, I did that while I was on vacation, and uh, I have a. I'm not going to use the 440 Magnum. So what I've done is I've cut a little snip of the instructions that has the 440 Magnum part on it, put all the parts in the bag, and uh, remember to include the decal for the air cleaner is in there. And I can build that motor and use it in something else at a later time. Um, and then I've got the parts here, I've got the body here, I've got the hood here. I do still have to, there is on this, you have to cut to make room for the drag slicks. There's a little part of the body that has to be removed. I will get to doing that. We have some taillights. We have some big drag slicks and some tires. This isn't going to be a normal unboxing, obviously, because I've already been through it. And then I've got the chrome parts. I've got the clear parts. And all of these are ready to go. So I will bring you back when I'm working with my new overhead camera setup and uh, and you can follow along. Hello everybody. So uh, to update you on where I am on the 68 Dodge Dart Hemi, I've been doing some stuff. Got some, uh, some paint work done, obviously. I mixed up some, uh, well first I used a Wicked Color Silver combined with their UVLS balancing clear, of course, with the 4011 high temperature uh, thinner. And I sprayed Wicked Colors Gray over this. Then I used a pearlized turquoise, pearl turquoise, to give me kind of like a, a tealy green that you see here. And now this has one coat of 2K clear. So this stuff is uh, all water-based, of course. So if I were to apply decals to this, it would make a mess. So I put a 2K clear over it, which protects the paint from the water so that when I apply the decals, they will not do damage to the paint. And I, I think that the red and the yellow is gonna look pretty sweet on the, on the turquoise for the, uh, for the Hemi Thunder which is why I didn't go with the red like the box art. So, so that's where I'm at with that. I have uh, painted and started to assemble the motor. And I also have painted all of the black parts. Here's a 
couple of them, the interior door panels. The rest of them are over here off camera on sticks. And then the balance of them, the small and flat parts that don't really go well on a stick like radiators and such, um, they're in the dehydrator just off camera here, um, currently drying. I take them and I stick them to a piece of masking tape. I'll pull them out so you can see. And here they are. Let's get these guys out of the way. I'm liking this overhead camera thing. I don't have to worry about the camera and it's up high enough so I'm not bopping my head on it. This is cool. Um, I can drink coffee and not worry about the camera. Okay. So, and then there are these parts which are still curing just a tad. So I'll just leave those be. And uh, we're going to get to work soon on finishing the engine assembly. And then according to the instructions, I know I've been building models so long, I still follow the instructions. According to the instructions, after we're done with the engine assembly, we move right straight to the interior, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, I chose the 426 Hemi, so there's no back seat. There's a roll cage, which is kind of cool, and that's painted up. Um, and then from the interior, we're going to go right into the bodywork which I'm working on already. So the uh, once this clear coat cures, I should be able to start sticking decals on it either later today or tomorrow. Um, and this is just one coat of the clear. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the decals. And then I will shoot two more coats of 2K clear over the top of it. The first coat, a uh, almost a straight coat of the clear. And then the second coat, uh, mixed with a little bit of thinner so that it'll level out, even out, and smooth. Um, and then I may, I may also do a, I will do a sand in between the second coat and the third coat. I will let it cure fully and do a sand. I, f I find that if I wet sand the clear uh, and then shoot another coat of clear coat over it with the thinner mixed in, that I get a very, very smooth finish that almost requires no polishing which uh, which I like um, so so that's it come back for more
for tuning in to Angelo's Workbench and following along in the Ravel 68 Dodge Dart video. I'm going to have uh, video number two coming up soon. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I've got over 100 videos, including several really good how-tos. Feel free to check those out, and we'll see you next time.